G'day guys and welcome back. We are now going through our app navigation. Now, if you are just joining in um, and you haven't watched the previous video, so our setup video, please click on the little tab just up there. That will take you to the video, do a quick run through. But for now, we're going through the app navigation and this is our screen overview. So as you can see on the screen here, we're in uh, as soon as we open up and what we're gonna be looking at from the top, working our way across and down. First up, we have the month year. So you can see what month it is and then you can see what year. So always denoted in 22. For some reason, when I first got the app and I was playing through it, I thought that was the day and I was like, why does the day never change? Well, if you're not a donkey like me, you'll pick that up pretty quick. But if we look directly underneath that, you will then see our day and, oh, sorry, our days of the month. So these are our days. So you've got the month and then the year up the top in the nice big white writing. And then underneath that, you have got your days. So if you, if you refer back to um, our first video where we went through the setup, if you start your week on a Monday, the very far left is going to be your Monday. If you started on Sunday, then that's gonna be Sunday, okay? So that's where that choosing of the day comes into effect, but we've got every single day along there. Now, the next part we're gonna go through is how many sessions per day. Now, if you are just doing one session, you are gonna see one white dot on that day. If you're doing five sessions for the day, then you will see five white dots. Now, a white dot denotes that this is an incomplete or not started session. A green dot will denote a completed session. I will note guys that I am obviously using the dark mode here as well. So there is a potential that colors may change in the light mode and I have a feeling it might be uh, yellow and green. Um, green for finish, yellow for not started. But don't don't take my word for that. I'm using dark mode, so you'll pick it up as well, guys. You'll get it. It's 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 pretty simple. From there, we then have a quick tab. So shooting us to today. What I recommend for everyone, guys, is always look ahead. Check out all of your sessions for the week, especially for well, you're all athletes. But depending on what your goals are and what you're trying to achieve. If we are gonna have multiple sessions per day, um, or there are certain days where we have multiple sessions, make sure you check ahead, see what you've got on, uh, know what you've got for the next day, know what you've got coming for the week. That way you're able to prepare and plan around everything. So make sure that we're, that we're getting our nutrition right, make sure that we're getting our sleep right. Uh, when we plan on doing the session, checking ahead. The last thing we wanna do guys is just rock up on the day and go, okay, what's on today? All right, reason being as well, is that if you are not feeling great for, if we're focusing on a specific body part or just our main focus for the day is on a specific body part, um, even in a full body session, well then we might know, okay, this is not a great day to do this session. I'm gonna pull, it says it's on a Tuesday. I'm gonna pull Thursday session across, which you can very easily do and we will get to there. I'm gonna pull Thursday session across. I'm gonna do that on Tuesday. And then when it comes time for Thursday, I'm gonna pull Tuesday session across. If you've got that ability and that intuition to know your body and know your performance, then 100%, make sure you're having a look ahead, guys. I highly, highly recommend. And that is where that today quick tab comes in handy because boom, you click on that and it rips you straight to today. Likewise, if you want to go back to last week, the previous week, say you missed a session from a month ago, and you're determined to get it done. You can go all the way across if you get too far lost. Hit today, it rips you right back to the current day. All right, so that's our quick day tab. From there, you will then see our notification tab. This will always light up with most times a number as well. If there's multiple notifications, this is basically if I've dropped a session in there, if I've left some comments on anything, if I'm replying to you, then that is going to be there. Very, very self-explanatory, guys. You guys are probably all over this. A little bit down from there, you are now gonna see the coach, which is going to be me, and then the name of the session, if it have one, if it has one. I usually name all sessions, guys, so um, it will generally be the focus, even if you're doing a full body session, but our main focus is back squat on that day, as an example. I will call it probably like a full body session, back squat focus. Or if you're on the PHB program, if you're on a group training program, so, 
if you're a part of netball, if you're a part of football, if you're a part of the tactical community, then you are going to see uh, something along the lines of PHB upper hypertrophy or PHB lower hypertrophy, netball speed specific, stuff like that. So it's all going to be self-explanatory. That's the name of the session. And again, that just helps you a little bit when you're looking uh, at the gross oversight and you're like, okay, yeah, cool. You know, um, I'm feeling real jacked up today. Probably not good if I go into a speed session. I need to focus a little bit more on mobility. I'll move that to another day. So that is there as well. We then have our daily session overview. So again, I haven't left or uh, navigated away from this home screen yet, guys. So the daily session overview, um, as I said, you're then going to see if it's complete or not complete. Uh, so I will have left some notes there if applicable. Um, and then there's also the exercises and their groupings. What I mean by groupings is their sets, what sets they've done. And you'll also be able to see sets and reps. So at a very brief overview without a ton of um, detail, you're going to see what all the exercises are, what sort of volume we're doing, you can probably assume if it's kind of high set, low rep, that it's going to be heavy in weight. You could probably assume that if it's a low set, high rep, it's probably going to be low weight because of big volume. Um, but that's just a very brief overview. And this shouldn't really come as a surprise to you personally because you will know where we're working and what we're currently trying to achieve. So that shouldn't be a huge surprise to you. It's just gonna be like, oh yeah, cool, this is what I'm in for, awesome. From there, guys, um, so starting to navigate away from here, um, um, we then have our history tab. So this is up next. The history tab contains all of your lifts, guys. So if you're interested in knowing, right, what was my last bench press that I did? What was my last back squat? What was my last vertical leap? That is all in the history tab. You can just simply go into there and it will show you, it will actually show you your entire history, but it will also show you your best. So what you recently achieved, what your all time best was. And as you start logging more and more, it will then give you a graph. Now, depending on where we are in our program and what we're trying to achieve, we will sometimes see this graph move up positively because we are trying to increase weight. Again, this the, the, the data this spits out is just usually high number is the best number. That's generally what the data will say in this case. So if we are trying to get stronger and we're seeing this uh, grid or line, this, this um, line graph uh, increase, then great, we're doing that the right thing. You may see a decrease, but that's probably because we might be going through say a hypertrophy or a volume uh, stage, even endurance. So we're using a lighter weight. So you might see a decrease. Don't get hung up that it always has to be tracking in a certain direction. Again, I will explain this and break this down for you specifically in um, everything. Or if you've got questions, of course, you can always ask. From there, guys, we have our chat box. Now, chat box, uh, you're also going to see that you can leave um, exercise comments. You can leave session comments. So this is like a third touch point um, within the app. Okay, so first touch point is you will leave, and we're gonna go through this, but I'll go very, very, very uh, quickly. First touch point is you can leave a comment on the exercise that you've done. Did it feel good? Did it feel bad? Love that, hate it, whatever. Second touch point is you leave a comment or you leave a breakdown of the session, how you felt overall for the whole session. Was there anything that stuck out that was really good? Was there anything that was really bad? Did you get a niggle in something so you had to taper off? That's our second touch point. Third touch point is you have right here the chat box. Now, I'm not going to open up my chat box because I've got everyone's chat in there so I can see every single person's chat with me. So for privacy reasons, I'm not going to open that, okay? But that is our third touch point. Of course, you all have access to my email, my socials. Um, if you're in the country or you like paying data roaming charges, my phone. Um, you've all got access to that. It's a lot more direct. However, if there's anything, of course, you can always use this. If I'm overseas, this is actually great to use alongside with socials. Moving on from there, we then have our exercise library. Now, the exercise library, guys, is every single exercise that you can do in the app. Now, without going again into too much detail, if for whatever reason you're unable to do one of the sessions that I have programmed there for you and you need to do your own, you still log it. You still need to log your own session, guys, because I need to be able to see 
that we're not overdoing it. Or say you decide to go for a gym session with your friend uh, and you do their program, which is completely fine by me. We still want to log the weight that you do, the exercises that you do, because on a global surface, we in global, so global average, we want to make sure we're not overdoing it in the sense of leading you further towards injury. We're going to ebb and flow. We're going to go really ham for a couple of weeks, and then we're going to dip off. This all would have been explained with how we're doing our phases and our mesocycles. Okay, so it's still really important to log everything. And this is where you go. You go down into here and you just log your exercises. Log your exercise, log your weight. Now, if um, there is an exercise, like, and guys, in the fitness industry, you know, how many ways can you skin a cat is the exact same example as how many ways can you call a squat a squat, all right? Um, there's going to be exercises which, uh, I'll use a glute bridge, uh, for example. So a glute bridge where we hold our hips up. People call that a glute bridge. They call that a hip thrust hold. They call it a isometric glute bridge. There's a bunch of different exercises. Try and get as close as you can, close to that as you can. There's also videos there and descriptions. You'll be able to see it. Just make sure you log it, guys. That's, that's basically the most important thing. From there, uh, we then have our training history. So this is our training history, guys, not our exercise history. So when you click on your name, your initials, you'll be able to go down and you're going to see everything in terms of how many sessions we've done forever, like ever recorded in the app, of course, how many sessions we've done. Then our total volume done. So how much weight we have lifted, whether it be in kilos or pounds, it's gonna tell you how much weight you've lifted. It's also then going to say uh, how many reps you've done. So the total amount of reps, 10,000 reps or whatever it is. It's going to tell you that it's all there. Now, of course, we can look at a few different data fields here. That, I believe, is going to be auto-defaulted to 10 days. We can also stretch that out to all time. So you'll be able to see what you've done in the last 10 days, what you've done in the last month or 30 days, and then so on, like this year, last year, and then all time. So it's pretty cool. You actually get to, to see a fair bit, and it'll obviously break it down into either days, weeks, or months and we start to get a good idea. Again, this is really good for me because I'm able to see what your training load's like, but it's also pretty cool. Like you would actually be really surprised how much weight you will lift in a year. I was surprised how much weight I lifted in bloody a quarter. Like, so in three months, I was like, whoa, four months, sorry, whatever it is. I was like, it, it, uh, surprise, surprised the shit out of me actually. So that, that's pretty cool there. So that'll give you your, um, your training history, guys, not your exercise history. All right, team, so that was the quick app navigation run through. Hope that made a little bit more sense. I know I tend to waffle, I'm sorry, but um, just doing this all for your benefit. Of course, as always, guys, got any questions, shoot them through, happy to help out. We are gonna be going through the training structure breakdown next, and you can click on that right there.